friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india let us observe these small people feko this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratin and now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours a an air bubble is injected to fill up the anterior chamber staining of the anterior capsule is faster when we use an air bubble i always wash the excess dye out this is a bit of phenokin and it didn't have any effect on the size of the people phenokin is a uh, tropicamide phenylephrine and lignocaine some visco is applied under the iris to create some space so that flanges of the bhex people expansion device can be easily tucked this is bhex feco 2.0 this gives dilatation of people to about 6.25 mm the people takes a beautiful hexagonal shape I go in with the device turn and I flange I tuck the flange that I held towards 2 o'clock and then I tuck the flange inferior flange about 7 o'clock inject some more visco take the bhex forceps hold the middle tab of the flange which is at 10 o'clock and see the shape of the people a beautiful hexagonal shape and now capsule orexis is done i use a utrita forceps and the orexis is done and now hydro dissection is done the size of the rexis is about 4.75 mm in this case it should have been a little larger about 5 mm i take the nucleus sustainer and pre chopper designed by me and divide the nucleus into two hemi-nuclei rotate and then I cut on hemi-nucleus into two and I come out of the anterior chamber and now is the time to go with the handpiece enlarge the main wound to about 3 millimeter and then the hand piece is introduced the hand piece goes bevel down the bhex people expansion device keeps the iris at its own plane 
So, just go and start emulsifying the pieces. This is the trick. With the nucleus sustainer, we hook the equator of the nucleus and then we start dividing it into fragments and then we just emulsify the pieces. And this is the epinuclear shell. We have to remove the shell by the handpiece itself. Otherwise, with Simco, it will take or by manual, it will take very long time. And the nucleus is managed, the nucleus is also managed. Now, I inject Visco. Go through the side port and remove the cortex from the right side and from the sub incisional area. The sub incisional cortex is some cortex is still remaining at 12 o'clock. And I am not getting any access to this no, to this cortex. When it doesn't come out with ease, we can make another side port, and that is what I am going to do. With irrigation on, I make another side port at 8 o'clock. Aspiration goes there and see how easily we can remove that cortex. Now, when the B hex is there, when the B hex has been used to dilate the people, I prefer to implant the lens uh, using Visco. I fill up the bag and the entity chamber with Visco, and then here goes the intraocular lens. The leading haptic goes, and then the trailing haptic also goes. The lens is in the capsular bag. Just rotate the lens to position it uh, in such a way that we can go behind the lens and clean the visco from the capsular bag. And this is how we remove the BHX ring. Untuck and pull it out as simple as that. We do not need any you know, injector system to push it or to remove it. And now, the visco is nicely cleaned. So, in this case, we have seen uh, the use of PHEX FECO 2.0. This is a beautiful device, it gives dilatation of the pupil uh, to about 6 millimeter. The earlier version of BX, which is still uh, very popular, gives dilatation of about 5.75 millimeter. In my opinion, a little more dilatation is always better uh, 
uh, and it makes the surgery safer. So, uh, when the two BHEX is given BHEX that gives dilatation of 5.75 and BHEX which gives dilatation of 6.25, I would go for the dilatation that will be 6.25. But the surgery can be very well managed by the 5.75 millimeter dilated papal, particularly when we know that the that dilatation will remain throughout the surgery. Thanks to Dr. Subhan Bhattacharji for bringing out such wonderful de 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 designs, wonderful innovations to manage uh, you know, such small people FECO. And thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will be helpful in managing your surgeries.